Some OEMs like Asus, Samsung, OnePlus, Motorola, and others are experimenting with releasing phones with 24GB of RAM. The first phone with 24GB of RAM are the Nubia Red Magic 8S Pro Plus, Realme GT5, the OnePlus S2 Pro, and the Redmi K60 Extreme Edition, which launched with 24GB of RAM and 1TB of storage in their top variants. We are even hearing rumors of OEMs already thinking about jumping to 32GB of RAM. Does buying a phone with 24GB of RAM make sense or should you spend your money elsewhere? We explore this new trend of 24GB of RAM on smartphones and whether it makes sense. We have seen 24GB of RAM limited to the absolute top spec model only. This phone release have also been focused on performance and gaming, so the most obvious use will be gaming. However, we don't directly benefit from this much RAM in current smartphone gaming scenarios, as there are other CPU, heat, and power consumption bottlenecks that will reach before you can a weekend max out the RAM usage on the phone. Even the best Android games of today will not be able to take advantage of 24GB of RAM. All this extra RAM helps keep more of our apps open in the background. Even when we are playing heavy games with so much RAM, we can feasibly return to, your, uh, to, to our other tasks after your gaming session. AI the most logical use case for 24GB of RAM is AI. AI models can run on machines with lower RAM, but having a bundle of RAM will improve the speed at which AI models can execute. Some of the features that use AI to execute are voice assistants such as Google Assistant, Siri, which use data to understand users, voice comments, and perform a variety of tasks. AI also allows smartphone users to take better selfies, portraits, video recording, and low-light photos than ever before. It is responsible for the ability to add special effects too. One example is the Google Pixel Super Rest Zoom. It uses an algorithm rather than the lens to zoom in on a subject. With an AI algorithm produce detailed up-close photo without the user having to crop them. Another possible use case that benefits from the lot of RAM is desktop mode. Some phones can run in desktop-like environment when connected to the external monitor, keyboard, and mouse. The most prominent example is Samsung's Dex. Desktop mode usually has multitasking as its primary headlight. With more RAM available on our phone, we will be able to, to open many windows or more app surfaces just like the desktop we usually use. It is only a matter of time before this feature becomes more popular and a pandan RAM could help it reach that goal. The surfing RAM for specific use case this makes sense for most consumers use case, though consumers may not be able to experience the benefit immediately. With 24GB of RAM, we can dedicate a part of this specific application, like AI or desktop mode, while the rest can be available to the system. If we just message on WhatsApp and browse through social media apps, take an edit photo and play games occasionally, the Android smartphone with 8GB of RAM is adequate for us. If you play a lot of games and want all of them to be running in the background, choosing a higher variant with 12GB or 16GB RAM is makes sense. These days, you will see a lot of 16GB RAM flagship. Sure, there is ample headroom for use cases to grow in the future, but you don't need this much RAM today. Do you really need 24GB of RAM in your Android phone? Personally, I feel it is fine for some smartphone to feature 24GB of RAM, but it will be better if we saw this amount of memory on a device like horizontal foldable than unfolds into a tablet, because they are productivity machine and are designed to perform multiple tasks at the same time. On the other hand, Gaming smartphone will also benefit from having 24GB of RAM, as you can keep multiple games running in the background and switch between them. After all, you cannot multitask as efficiently or foldables, so in many opinion, having 24GB of RAM and regular slab smartphone is definitely overkill without any significant benefit. So here's the video, thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and see you in another video.